Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Pigeon. To get started, go to pigeon.im. Make sure you type .im and not .com. Now click on the Download Pigeon button, and then the Download Pigeon button again. A download window will appear, and you'll want to save the file, and when it's done downloading, run the installer. Several prompts may appear asking you if you want to run the installer, and you'll want to click on OK or Run. Now the installer will start and it'll ask you to choose a language. I'm going to choose English. On the first page of the installer, click on Next. And on the second page, you can read the license and click on Next again. This page will give you some options, and most of them you can leave just as they are. But if you want Pigeon to put an icon on your desktop, check the box next to Desktop. Now click on Next again. You don't need to change this setting either. Click on Next again. Finally, click on Install. Now, Pigeon will start installing. It'll take a while, so let's speed it up. When it's finished, click on Next again. Since we want to start Pigeon right away, check the Run Pigeon checkbox, and now click on Finish. Pigeon will start, and you'll see the Accounts box pop up. Now you want to add accounts for each of your different instant messaging services. Click on Add to get started. I'm going to start with my AIM account, so I'll enter my AIM username and my password. If you don't want to have to enter your password every time Pigeon starts, check the Remember Password box. If you use your AIM account for email, you can have Pigeon notify you when you get new emails as well by clicking on the New Mail Notifications box. If you want, you can also set up a buddy icon for this account now. When you're done, click on Save. Now you'll see the buddy list appear, and it should load all of your AIM buddies. If you want to add another instant messaging account, go back to the Accounts window and click on Add again. Since I have a Google Talk account, I can go up to the protocol box and choose Google Talk, and then enter my username and my password here. Once again, I'm going to have it remember my password. Now I'll click on Save. This time it prompted me to accept a security certificate, and I'm going to accept. If you have more accounts for other services, you can click on Add again until they're all listed, then click on Close. Once it's set up, Pigeon works like most other instant messaging programs. Just double-click to start chatting with a buddy. And that's how to get started using Pigeon.